What is going on everybody? My name is Japes. Welcome back to the Division 1 project. I wish it was, well, maybe more epic sounding than that, but for me it is epic. It's a, it's a huge, it's not really a race because we're taking our time on it. It's been a little while since I've uploaded this, but I really enjoyed you enjoy doing this. I'm switching over to head to head for this one and we're 3-0 so far, Division 10. We need one more win to get to Division 9, which will be phenomenal. So, because Manchester City managed to win the cup today, that is going to be the team that I will be using. I'm going to set them up in a false nine formation because I'm on that hype. I'm about that right now in Ultimate Team. And I kind of want to see how it carries over to this. So I'm going to be putting in Michael Richards at center back. Yes, it's cheesy. And yes, I'm doing it. Um, ooh, now here, how do I want to set this up? Oh man, look at all the options. I feel like, no, uh, I feel like a two. Uh, no, I lied. We're gonna play a four-one-two-one-two. It's just too good. It's it's just a good formation for head-to-head -head and um, Manchester City in a four. You know, you want to have, you really want to have. I think Jovetic and Aguero up front to do anything other to not have them both up front would be. Uh, You'd be, mm, I just don't know if it'd be worth it. A 4 triple 2 would be phenomenal as well. Nasri Silva on the wings. But I'm not so confident in my 4 one 2 and 2 abilities at the moment. So there's Jovetic. Bring him on. Uh, I probably won't play last guy. So we'll bring Jovetic on off the bench. We've got David Silva. Going to play him as my cam. My right mid. I'm going to put Jesus Navas on. Where is the quick little man? There he is. And then I'm going to leave Nasri over there as the left uh, mid. I think he works out fine in that role. So... That is where we'll, let's see, anybody on the bench that I might want to bring on as a sub? Probably not. We're looking pretty good. Um, so, yeah, obviously Manchester City won the cup. What a ridiculous goal by Yaya Toure. My word. You could have put a plate in the corner and he would have absolutely shattered that. And then of Nazri as well, the spin on that thing. Oh, man. Uh, so, yes, I didn't get to actually watch the match, but I saw those goals and I... I felt inspired it was one of those where we're gonna give this a shot hopefully uh it'll work out we're still in division 10 though so i wouldn't uh, i'm not gonna expect to lose this i'm gonna expect to win this game now how handily i don't know the 4-1-2-1-2 actually a formation that i'm semi comfortable with i play this formation all the time in pro clubs um and I play pro clubs with some YouTubers from time to time, and that's a little bit rougher than when I play with guys that I've played clubs a bunch with in the past. Um, when I play with them, I play any in the 4 one 2 and 2 uh, more often than not, and it works out. I wish it wasn't white kits. Oh, he's got Tottenham. So we're going to watch out for it. Okay, so he seems using some skills. Um, wasn't I can't say I was really expecting to see the skilling in Division 10. But, since he's brought it out, I'm all for this. This could be fun. And Aguero might be through right off the bat. Oh, if I'd gotten his momentum going the right way. So, this, actually, uh, if some of you guys didn't know, I am indeed colorblind. That's why I generally tend to pick teams that have... Wow, he's... Okay. Division 10, huh? Nazri. Oh, I managed to take it away. I thought I was going to be able to keep tabs on that there and hold on to it. That is a risky, risky. Oh, David Silva, why are you doing that? That was a really risky pass from him right there. Uh, I would not I would not have really thought about playing that. And I'm going to do this series kind of like the way I would on my live streams. Uh, if you guys haven't tuned into one of my streams before, it's pretty it's pretty relaxed for the most part. But I do get I do get kind of worked up when things things may or may not happen in the matches. So Michael Richards. Not the biggest guy, but he's there to kill, kill you know what would might be pacey counters. And because this is head to head, I should be able to slow it down quite a bit. Though it's different. Um, this four and two and two because I haven't played it, played it loads. Oh, that's a great ball. I'm gonna put it on his left. Oh man. Oh, top net, the best net. A little bit of a mistake from him right there. And we're gonna go ahead and wait. Can I not ride the cat? Oh, I don't have it. I'm going to have to give myself that celebration because there's sometimes you just need to ride the cat, and I felt like that was going to be one of those times right there. So Aguero manages to punch home clinically. He's got, what is he, an 89 with seasons right now. David Silva skipped inside, and then that's just, just top net. Just top net. So he's really done that to himself. He's put himself in a bit of a hole, and I will do my absolute best to... 
Well, I guess to keep him in that hole. And Jovetic and Zabaleta. Zabaleta is actually... He's a much better right back on this game than people give him credit for. Um, he might be kind of slow, but he's really... Oh, it was almost wonderful from David Silva. It was almost just wonderful. So I'm going to knock this in. I see Big Yaya on that front post. See if we can get that nod on. So here I'm going to bowl roll. Oh, no, I'm not. So we'll keep this. Can I go straight back? I think I can. I can indeed. Going to find Yaya. And if this were, this were the actual match, that would have been a fantastic spot for him. All right, here we go. I want to just kind of keep control of it in this area. This is really, really a good spot to hold the ball in head to head. It's not like you're, it's nonsense possession where you're, you know, you're really going, oh, I gave it away. That was poor. Um, where you're going nowhere. And right there, I'm just pumping the tackle button. I don't want to commit a foul. And when I say pumping, I mean kind of just, re, re, just pressing repeatedly. Uh, not actually pumping away, but... Uh, it's just a good, it's a good all-around spot to, oh. That's got to be a goal. Oh, it's a fantastic finish right into the corner. And that is what we were absolutely hoping would happen. Jovic knocking it home. If only he were scoring more goals like that for City, he might be on the pitch more often. But nonetheless, uh, he bit and he slid. And when people do that, you absolutely have to make them pay. Near post OP? Maybe. Then again, maybe not. So, looking at the match facts right now, that's pretty brutal. Um, maximum efficiency for the most part. When you're putting 66% of your attempts into the back of the net, and you're looking, you're looking pretty happy about that. 73% uh, possession as well. He's had no shots on target. Tottenham, maybe not the team that Manchester City is on FIFA, though. So, uh, you know, you got to feel good about it from, I guess, from that standpoint. So, you know, from, oh, he's bringing on Soldado. All right. I'm I'm okay with that, with that play. I think that's probably a good move for him. Just looking down to make sure it's, make sure and see that it's still recording. Uh, he needs to get more of an attack going. Autobot, you are not the paciest player. Looks like he switched to a two-striker set, though. I just want to make sure he doesn't get in behind me. That's the real threat. Um, and now Tottenham, with Autobot, you are in Soldado. They definitely would be an effective team in the air. So I want to, again, because I'm in control of this game, I can play nice and slow, find my options, pick my passes, and, you know, kind of go about it that way. Actually, if Aguero would get moving here, I'd be in good shape. We're not going to force it. I'm going to send Navas running the... Oh, ref. Ref, ref, ref. A little bit of lag. A little ref. Oh, oh. Company does well. He had a fantastic tackle in the match today as well, didn't he? My word. Getting back so well. It was just a ridiculously good recovery from him. Um... Oh, uh, and there it is. Jovetic in the box. It's going to be a crossing opportunity here. Oh, it's over his head. But we'll manage to keep possession. It was cleared out. No farther than Zabaleta. Terrible first touch from Zabaleta, though. But recovers well. Takes it away inside to Toure. Keeps it moving over to Kolarov. And actually, I didn't even realize that Kolarov was uh, on at this point. I probably would have switched it over to Klishi. Um, but nonetheless, Kolarov, Kolarov, my man at left back for the moment. Oh, it should have been it should have been on the ground to Jesus Navas, and we would have been in a far far better position. I'm gonna assume that he's gonna try to force this pass. Yeah, he did, and I was almost able to nip it. Now we've got it. Torre leading the break. I don't really know where I want to go. All right, so I'll keep that. Again, I don't really know where I want to turn with this, but I can make that a pass. The chop. Ooh. So most people don't think that if you're on a right-footed player, if he knew that Jovetic was right-footed, he probably would have figured, hey, this guy, not going to go back down towards the end line. It's not going to be the best option for him right there. That's a forced pass to Aguero. It's never going to happen that simple. I'm going to cover Autobayur right here because I'm not worried about Soldado's run. And now we got it. Okay. Oh, that's, well, that's poor. But managed to nick it back, so all is well. All is well that ends well. 
And I'm going to be looking to put a third in before halftime, really put him on his heels here. Play a little one-two. Maybe we can get David Silva free. He is free. The cross is coming in. Across. Oh, the f oh, it's a nice tip. Loris did well there. Punched it away. So, again, I'm going to cover Adebayor. Um, I was unable to do so, but... The, the the fact of the matter is, from a situation like that, he's going to be unable to just run by my defenders with Soldado. So, as long as I... Wow, Lennon's 100% can outrun Aguero. Uh, as long as... Oh, wow, he just turned? Interesting. So, he's pretty ballsy on just turning. Uh, and now that I'm kind of aware of that, again, I'm going to run with Adebayor. I can switch over to company. This is an Ericsson. Well, very, very good. That's going to be a really, really tough ask to control that. Keep it coming at the bottom of the screen. Nasri inside. Toure back to Nasri. Up to David Silva. David Silva gets it poked away. No farther than Jovetic. Jovetic to Aguero. And I'm going to turn on the Jets a little bit here. Uh, that's Rose. And uh, that should be a foul. So whenever you see 45th minute in FIFA, you're going to do exactly what I'm about to do. Uh, I'm going to put this on Nasri. And there's Toure in the box. Going to cross it in. Bang. Goal. Just that simple. <laughs> it's impossible to cover. And that's going to be our three-goal lead into halftime. It's not impossible to cover. It's just extremely difficult. Um, set piece, that kind of area. Whether or not you fully believe in the 45th minute, um, that's here or there. But we're going to say called it. <laughs> We're going to say called it on that one. So he's, uh, I think he's accepted defeat um, starting like that from the kickoff. Uh, nick it away here. And, and I'm already pressing the tackle button uh, right there to try to nick it. it. It helps with the push and pull mechanic if you're pressing tackle. Even if you aren't fighting for the ball directly. Oh, Lennon. Nicely done. Cleared out. Up to Aguero. And yeah, I was going to say, I wasn't going to get another chance before halftime on that one. But regardless... It's still a wonderful half of football that we've put in, um, and he's gone. So, that has been this episode of the Division One Project. That is where I'm going to quit on this one. So, if you guys did enjoy it, a like or thumbs up would be greatly appreciated. I'm going to keep these a little bit shorter. I might have a Path to Power pack opening out for you guys today as well. So, drop a like on this video if you want to see that. Um, I might as well be live streaming uh, on top of that. So, be sure to check my Twitter for if I go live. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. Again, if you did enjoy, a like or thumbs up is appreciated. My name is James, and I will catch you all next time.